blend it, it is December 2000 and uh oh 14th I think no 15th 15th okay this video is gonna be as short as possible and y'all definitely gonna have to overlook my hot messness been out doing a little shopping but here's what happened last night The back um, driver's side metal brake line on my Explorer ruptured yesterday. And Chuck came home. He, we didn't know that that's what it was. You know, it was dark. He said it, was, it looked like it was leaking brake fluid somewhere, but he couldn't tell. So when he got up today, he went down and looked at it. And um, voila, it's ruptured, which ain't good. And the dealer didn't have the part. No, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, all those places that he could go to check to see if they have it, don't have it. Pull apart, and I don't know if you guys have a pull apart in the state that you're in, but we have a massive junkyard. And they call it pull apart. What you do is, you can go on their website and see if they have what you need. They have tons and tons and tons of cars out there with, with all these parts on them, and you can get them for a discounted price. All you have to do is pay in a dollar for an admission to, to get in, and you can, as long as you pull it off, you can take it with you and buy it. They don't do that for you. That's why they call it pull apart. So pull apart has the one piece that I need, luckily, that I know of, for $5. I'm not sure what else he's going to need because, you know, he's the mechanic, not me. But anyway... So, not only is my parents' car up on blocks out front, so is mine. So, um, we have three, my mom and dad's car, my vehicle, the Explorer, and Chuck's Dodge Ram truck. As of right now, his truck is the only one running. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have Angie's car, my sister, but her brakes are going to the floor. She's got to fix hers, too, so... Um, we had to borrow our neighbor's car to do our, our shopping and our running around today and stuff. But he's supposed to fix it tonight or go out to pull apart. He's gonna, I don't know sure what he's going to do. But anyway, pray that I get my car fixed because he had been driving my car all this time for the last year. And I've been driving it too occasionally, but now I finally got my car fully back. It's mine. And it breaks. It breaks. Okay. Anyway, sorry for that rant. But I got... Cards in the mail. Cards in the mail. And I already opened them, ladies. And my first one, I love this. I love this a bunch of little Sonya. Uh, Snowy White 79. She put a bunch of the stickers. Which I love stickers. Love stickers. And this is so beautiful. I wish I could make a card that looked like this. It's so pretty. It is. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's from Sunrise uh, Greetings. Beautiful. And y'all know, if y'all know me, you know I'm going to read what's on the inside. Sorry, guys. Wishing you happiness this season and always. Belinda, you are doing such an amazing job. Thanks for all your encouragement and inspiration. Blessings today and always. Sonia and family. Snowy White 79. I really, really like this card. It's really nice. I love glitter. I love anything that bling blings. So, thank, thank you, Sonya. It's really pretty. And you guys know that eventually one day I've got cards that I've collected over the last 25, 30 years. Birthday cards, thank you cards, sympathy cards, any kind of card that I've received in the last 25, 30 years. I'm going to make several scrapbooks out of them. I'm going to put them in scrapbooks, and I think that's going to be really cool. Because otherwise they take up too much space. The next one is from my good friend, Miss Jenny Burnett, who had her surgery. Woo woo! Congratulations, girl. You on the loser's bench, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being silly, I'm trying to be in a good mood. That sucks when your car is broke. And this is beautiful as well. Look at that. This is from Image Arts. It's gorgeous. Love it. And she wrote that she always puts quotes and things, and I really like that. But some, most of the people I, that, that made these quotes, I don't remember who they are. Awareness is learning to keep yourself company by Janine Roth, I believe is what it says. With the very best wishes for the holidays and the new year, 
Belinda. Thanks so much for the beautiful Christmas card. I love how creative you are. Thank you. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Love, Jenny. Love it, Jenny. Thank you so much for thinking of me and taking the time to send me a card. And I just love all this. Like I say, I like the bling bling. Oh, on the front up there it says, uh, wishing you a beautiful season. Right there. Thank you. I'm getting like average on like two or three cards a day, so I'm happy camper. And I, Tina, 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 my Miss Prairie Princess. Love you to death. But she got the coolest card. The envelope for that. That's so cool. Let's see. Now this really is a card I'd like to be able to make one day. My mom and dad thought this was just the prettiest card they've ever seen. And it's from uh, Expressions Hallmark. People out there are making noise. See, isn't that beautiful? I love that. You know what my dad said? He's like, well, you could take all that off the front and put it on and make your own card. And I was like, Dad, I can't do that. It's too pretty. But you know how men are. Wishing you joys both great and small and you and your very merriest Christmas of all says dear Belinda and I hope you don't mind you don't gotta read it I'm so very glad to have met you your continued love and support means so much to me you are doing awesome on your journey and I'm honored to be a part of it honored to be a part of yours too you know you are truly a special person thanks for making me smile PS the horse is waiting for you up here on the prairie I hope you and your family have a wonderful, blessed Christmas, and I know 2013 is going to be awesome. Much love to you, my friend. The Prairie Weather Report. Tina. In a parenthesis, she put from the prairie. Oh, and we had a blizzard here last night with minus 25 below wind chills. And she put LOL. Look at that. Tina, hilarious girl. Thank you so much. I really, I mean, all the cards I've gotten are just fabulous. I mean, just fabulous. But this one here, I don't know. There's something about this one. I just, I, the creativity in it is just so. I mean, I could actually think I, I might be able to, if I had the materials, I could make this card myself. I think maybe. So that's got a little felt on it and everything. It's so cute. But anyway, I digress and I ramble. I'm so sorry. And forgive the beginning of the video about me rambling about my personal crap. Sorry. Because I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm alive. And I was just telling my mom, uh, probably about 20 minutes ago, that I can do things this year that I couldn't do last year. And my life has changed. And I'm having to adapt. But it's well worth it. Because when I finally get to my my um, goal, my lifetime goal of 150, and if I go under, that's fine. But 150 is where I really like to be. Then I can start incorporating more things uh, in my diet as long as I eat healthy. You know, like and and exercise at least three days a week. I've got to make that a part of my daily living for the rest of my life. I have to. It's probably gonna be a struggle, but I have to. But like today. When I was at the dollar store, I bought, I've been craving it. After I heard, I can't think of who it was online who said something about it. It was probably one of y'all. If it was one of y'all, tell me. Um, salsa. It's only got 10 calories per tablespoon. And hardly anything, maybe like one sugar. So I got me some chunky salsa. So in the morning, I'm going to make me an omelet. I'm going to put some salsa on it with some light sour, with a dollop of light sour cream. And I'm going to... Num num num, I'm gonna eat up. <laughs> I know I'm silly. Sorry. Anyway, uh, enough of my rambling. Thank you guys for all the cards. I so appreciate your love and your understanding and your support through my journey. And I've been happy and honored and proud to be a part of y'all's. And to my family outside of this box and my friends, I love you all very much. More than you will ever know. God bless. Bye.